Hey, welcome back and all um, said and done we're here to celebrate one of the greatest sons of the motherland um, he has lived his life um, above reproach he still lives on and we salute him this morning uh, before I mention his name this man is an academic he's a researcher he's a university administrator he's a cabinet minister sports administrator church leader and one who holds integrity so high he won't compromise on anything he's a former chancellor of the University of Ghana Legon and at age 14 he led at motor school to athletic team to win awards he had a nickname and I go and all that you need to know this man he has a philosophy today's leaders must develop tomorrow's leaders and who am I talking about this when I'm talking about professor emeritus George Bennett he has a book coming up um, to be launched tomorrow but before I go on I have the privilege and honor to have strong for three strong men here this morning who are his children who will be talking about the book launch on my immediate left i have mr kwejo bene who is a zonal branch manager head of his branch echo bank good morning kwejo welcome good morning let's have that i have nana jimo bene who's executive director of standard bank wow you're welcome bro thank you thank next you i have a park with sid bene managing director morgan stanley good morning you're also welcome thank you everybody. you let the three um, ladies out you want yeah. to make all men's affairs? <laughs> I'm sure. Are they happy about that? No, they, they also have roles to play. Fantastic. <laughs> great, great, great. So great. we decided to take this up. Wonderful. I know about Antoinette and yeah. uh, who else? Exactly. Uh, uh, Adelaide. Amma Adelaide yes, and Wonder who's a doctor. Great. Now, let, let me ask you, how do you feel being the children of Prof. Meritus, Benny? Well, <laughs> it places a lot of responsibility on us okay, mm. as children mm. because he's someone who has been known to have excelled yes. in life yes and so anybody meets you and <laughs> we expect excellence that's you. right okay wow. so i think we haven't done so badly mm -hmm. we tried to live up to the challenge <laughs> see but he, he, his shoes are very big mm. uh, I, 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 I admit i admit that one yeah. how, how about you um nana i think being a son of a uh, prof is a uh, is a great inspiration mm. for how we also try and chart our lives that's right and now that we are sort of uh, starting our own families mm -hmm. there's a lot that we we recall mm -hmm. from growing up mm. under 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 his uh, household mm. that has come to help us a great deal so i think we, we're even more appreciative of what we were privileged with now than, than than when we were going through them wonderful that moved to you papi yeah i think i think my brothers have done a good job of describing no you do your own job. <laughs> <laughs> exactly uh, but i think uh, one word uh, that definitely comes to mind yeah. is proud right? yeah we're very proud of him great um wherever you go um somebody has a story about him yes. uh, an encounter they've had with him uh, and it's all been pleasant mm -hmm. and so that puts a lot of expectation on us as well as my brother said great. Uh, to live to live up to that wonderful Pleased to have you here this morning. Let's talk about the book um, that will be launched t tomorrow, right? It's actually being launched on Friday. Launched on Friday. Okay. The okay. Wonderful. Being launched on Friday. Yes. There was a change in the date. Oh, great. Great. Because there were challenges Friday. with the venue. Great. So That's it's coming on, on Friday. Okay. At 4 p.m. Wonderful. At the Academy of Arts and Sciences. Great. So at least you have more days to plan ahead. You must be part of, of the launch. W what do you think inspired Prof. Meritus to come out with this book? Okay. So we're looking at the title very yes. soon. Yes. yes. Actually, Prof has been a writer all his life. Mm -hmm. I mean, he came back to the university in 64 after he completed London School of Economics, his mm -hmm. doctorate. Mm -hmm. And he's loved writing. I mean, there are several books that he has authored. There was one that I remember very well when we went to secondary school, Dixon and Bene. Mm -hmm. I mean, he co-authored that. I know uh, that was him. <laughs> yes, we co-authored. He co-authored that book with uh, the late um, Professor K. P. Dixon of blessed memory. Okay. okay so he's loved writing, hmm. and um, unfortunately for the family, um, shortly after one of his trips to Mozambique, uh, he fell ill and uh, he was struck by stroke. Mm -hmm. Okay, so. Um, due to the um, graciousness of the government at the time. Uh, at the time, it was uh, Kufo's government that was in, in, in power. Um, and based on recommendations by physicians at Kolebu, um, the government agreed to sponsor a trip 
uh, for him to get further treatment That's in the UK. Wonderful. So whilst in the UK, um, he went through all the treatment, and just before he was discharged, um, there was a sister, um, Sister Mary, in Linden um, Clinic in the UK, who advised him, the prof, you need to take up a project mm. when you get back home, mm. so that it will keep you active, and then take away your frustrations, uh, self-pity, because dealing with stroke could be very challenging. So immediately he came back from um, the trip in the UK. He, came, he went with my mom, okay, who's been very supportive all these years. Um, he decided to take up that project. Wonderful. And fortunately for him, one of um, our uncles, whom we grew up with, Dr. Roger Oponkranting, he's now with the Sec um, Commonwealth Secretariat. Um, he bought him a recorder. Yes, you should know him. <laughs> yes, so he bought, Roger bought um, our dad a recorder. And, and that is how he started. Really? Okay, because he couldn't write and sit for long hours, um, he had to rely on transcripts, you know. And eventually, of course, with our mom as uh, his independent editor. <laughs> I mean, he's been able to pull this through. Um, it's taken him about 16 years mm. to produce this. Mm. But I think it's, it's, worth it's it. been worth it. Mm. Um, mm. The publishers um, have also been very supportive. Okay. And uh, in fact, we're in this, in this together. Well, I mean, they have been a very active role okay. in, in towards the launch. Great, great. So that's the book, My Time, My Nation. Wow. It's so the preamble leading to the writing of the book, the publishing and all that. Uh, Nana, the, the, the title of the book, you might not be in Prof. Mertus's mind, but what do you think triggered the title of the book, My Time, My Nation? I think when, when you look at our, our dad's life, mm. um, from where it all started with, he, I think he's been very blessed with uh, very unique opportunities to make an impact yeah. um, on, 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 on society um, in, in every way he found himself. Yes. So going through the autobiography, there are very interesting aspects of, of his life that are, are brought to fore. Um, right from the early days in Brekum, um, colonial days into Achimota School, mm -hmm. which had such a big impact on him, yeah. life in Ligon. Uh, both as a, a student and then later as a lecturer, his teaching life, his political life, and, and his uh, academic life as well. Um, I think it's summed up very much in an individual's contribution uh, to the society he found himself in mm -hmm. and to the nation he so dearly loved. Mm -hmm. um, and and, and when, when you read through the book, one of the things that comes out very clear is that sense of commitment to Ghana as a nation, That's right. um, and that love for the country, not only for the country, but for the ideals of the country mm -hmm. as well. Mm -hmm. and, and that, I think, is what uh, is uh, what is encompassed in the book, mm -hmm. and hopefully we'll be able to shine the light for people who are looking for inspiration or a role model mm -hmm. in terms of uh, living life in, in Ghana as a nation at Wonderful. the moment. Yeah. Wonderful. Marcus, let me come to you on, on this. Um, Prof's philosophy we have known has been that we sh today's leaders must train or must develop tomorrow's leaders. Um, I've not read, I'm yet to read, read this book, but I get a sense that obviously there will be a line or two that will emphasize his philosophy. Tell me about that. Yeah, look, I think one thing that is very important mm -hmm. to him um, is, is the youth uh, of today. Mm -hmm. um, my dad and our father is very dedicated to this country That's right. and I think that has been a consistent theme mm. uh, throughout his life mm. and you know frankly that is you know it's rare to see these days uh, and I think we all need to be reminded including mm. ourselves right. um, every day um, about the fact that you know the future of the country uh, basically relies on youth mm. and so just service to country um, it's, I think, one of the themes to the book, mm -hmm. and is what you know, today's youth need to take away as a lesson mm -hmm. uh, from, from, from a lot of this discussion. Great, great. How is his foundation doing? 
So his foundation, um, as you well know, he started the foundation first by looking at some sort of academic exercises. He's got um, uh, some sort of uh, sponsorship or scholarship that's running for graduate students at the University of Ghana. Um, and about uh, two years ago, I think he's also set up an ICT uh, uh, lab in, in Brekum, um, which is uh, currently being used by um, some of the uh, school students uh, there. And the idea is for him to train um, even some of the non-students as well who are interested in ICT because his passion is uh, around uh, equipping the youth with ICT skills and vocational skills as well. Right. So he's got a few of these things that are sort of uh, ongoing uh, to keep. To keep. So how, 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 how old is that now? He was 83 in March. Wonderful. Yes. Still going strong, I see. So let's talk about the, the launch, okay. um, who and who are coming, the dates, the time, the venue again. Mm -hmm. And you want to share that with us? Okay. 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 The date, as I said earlier, is 12th of okay. May. Mm. Friday. Um, coming Friday. Coming Friday. Yes. And the venue is Academy of Arts and Sciences, mm -hmm. um, close to Alliance Francais. Um, I'm sure most people will be able to find their way. Yeah. It's not too far from Golden Tulip. Yeah, yes, uh, like, yes, like, yes. Yeah, yeah. So um, that has to do with the venue. Mm. Um, as to time is yeah. 4 prompt, okay. 4 p.m. prompt. Mm. Mm. Um, we expect, we are planning to start the program on time mm. because we are expecting quite a number of dignitaries. Indeed, um, our dad had the unique privilege of serving in three governments. Mm -hmm. um, first, under the SMC2, mm -hmm. and then under the AFRC regime, mm -hmm. uh, where you had, the, you had then Chairman Rawlings, mm -hmm. yes. and then the PNP, mm -hmm. where he was once um, in charge of lands and natural resources, mm -hmm. and then eventually he became the finance minister. Mr. So we've actually extended invitations to Custer Crossboard, actually, former heads of ah. state. And if, by divine grace, uh, the current head of state also shows up, mm. we've extended an invitation to him. You have. We know he has a very tight schedule. I believe. But the can. family will be blessed to have him. Mm. Okay. Um, indeed, he also worked with my dad uh, when he was vice chancellor. Okay. Um, um, at the time that they were trying to revamp the activities of uh, the Alumni Association. Okay. Okay. So it will, it will be great to have him. Wonderful. And then one of his class teachers, mm -hmm. um, Ambassador KB Asante, has also been invited. Um, he taught my dad mathematics in Atimota. Ah. Um, we expect a number of chiefs, mm -hmm. um, some of his students, mm -hmm. Most of them, I'm sure, would love to Wonderful. attend this event. Um, friends that he met uh, during his st short stint in politics, mm -hmm. I'm sure some of them he haven't, he hasn't seen Great. for for so many for years. Wild, yeah. So we're looking forward to a very glamorous mm -hmm. event. Wonderful. Uh, if, I mean, memorable yeah. event. Wonderful. Uh, more or less a ce celebration of his life. That's cool. Yes. He, he deserves it. You have about 30 seconds to share, 15 each, uh, between uh, Pa, Chrissy, and Nana. Final words. Yeah, look, I think uh, this has been a, a very um, enjoyable process uh, with him. Obviously, he's our dad, so we know him first as dad. Yes. And the rest of the world know him in different roles. Oh, yes. Uh, but I think a project like this allows us to rediscover my dad's life again, mm. uh, which is enjoyable to us. Mm. And uh, hopefully, you know, the rest of the world and the country are going to be in this process with us. Mm. Wonderful. Yes. Thank um, you. I'll just add that it's been a real privilege for us, and it's time to share that privilege with as many people uh, as possible. So we hope to see everybody on Friday mm. um, to come and uh, uh, launch this book and, and, and buy a copy and, and read for yourself. Great.
great, great. Thank you very much uh, for being with us this morning to share. I, I wish we had a longer time, much longer period to share um, memories of, of this great son of Madeline, um, Professor Emeritus George Benny. And I'll be speaking to um, Kredu, Mr. Kredu Benny, the Zono and Branch Manager, head of his branch, Echo Bank, and also to Nana uh, Jimo Benny, who's the Executive Director of Stanley Bank, and uh, Park Wissi Benny, who is the Managing Director, Morgan Stanley. Um, they uh, are blessed to be children of the great Professor Meritus George Benny. Well, so the, the launch is on Friday at 4 p.m. sharp. You need to be there. I mean, I'm, I'm, I don't try to, to get crash in the way, but you have to be there. It's a, it's a time for us to celebrate this son of the line. He's done so much. We owe him so much. But on Friday, let's see how it goes with the launch of the book My Time, My Nation, the autobiography of Professor Emeritus George Benny. Well, this is where we end in this segment of the show today. So we're going to have the accounts right about here. Thank you very much, gentlemen. Thank you, Thank you so much. Nice. All right.